Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a big whole wardrobe clear out video. Not a clear out, a changeover video. So I literally am just about to change over my wardrobe. I don't have the biggest of dressing rooms. So twice a year, basically going in from winter to spring, summer, and then again from spring, summer into like autumn, winter, I'll kind of take out items from my wardrobe, vacuum pack them, put them in the loft, and I'll see them again in like six months. And um, as so I do this twice a year and the time has come, I need to put away a lot of my autumn, winter things, a lot of my big coats, my chunky jumpers, big boots just all those things they need to be vacuum packed they're going to go in the loft and i want to get out my spring summer wardrobe bright colors my bright heels it's just time i know the weather isn't exactly hot but it's definitely been it's sunny this week it, it definitely feels more like spring this week so I thought now would be a really, really good time to just sort my wardrobes out basically and get it done. So before I start, I thought I'd just quickly give you um, like a little tour of my dressing room, just so you can see what's what, where everything goes currently, so that it kind of makes sense when I show you how it's going to change. So starting with this side of the room. So if I just spin you around, there we go. You can kind of get your bearings now. So this is behind me when I look in the mirror. And then I've got all of this side here just next to me. So all of this lot here is all my coats, really. My coats, jackets. So I'm going to go through this lot and rifle through it and vacuum pack a few of the like more chunkier, heavier coats and leave some of the more lightweight jackets for spring, summer. In these drawers below, I've just popped the chair there for now, but I, this drawer is for all of like my hair products and like straighteners, hair tools. You can see my little ring light there. And then the bottom drawer is just all my filming equipment. So my lights, tripods. So there's no actual clothes in these drawers. And then if we come over to this side, as you can see, it's a little bit messy. I try and keep these shelves quite tidy most of the time because I film my reels and they're always in shot, but this section can get a little bit messy. So starting off with the shelves, as you can see at the very top, I have a lot of bags. All of those bags are just like from the high street. Most of them are like Zara, pretty little thing. So they all sit up there. Next shelf, we have scarves. Now they were folded really neatly, but as you can see, they're now definitely not. Next shelf down, we've got some chunkier knits. So most of these will be um, going away. I might keep my essentials hoodie down just because it's a really like nice, smart hoodie. So when it's a bit chillier, I might, I might keep that down. I've got the Balenciaga bag, some caps, beanies, um, shoes, another bag. And then over this side, this section is usually what I'd kind of keep for we'll call it new in so whenever i get any new bits sent to me if i'm working with a brand i'll usually just put them here so i know exactly where they are and they're very easy for me to reach or if i'm shooting like a reel that day i'll put all the outfits here ready for the next day for when i'm filming that's what this section is most of these outfits i have now shot so they can move out of this section and then here we just have some hanging space. So there's a couple of blazers, there's some shirts in there, there's some jumpers. So yeah, a lot of this stuff will be going in the loft. Down here, we won't be touching this section. This is my beauty section. So we've got makeup in the top three drawers here. And the bottom drawer is more so for like beauty supplies, like my little beauty stash. So for when I run out of any products that I love, they're usually in here. So there's skincare, the shampoo, conditioner. It's a bit of a mess in here, but it's like a messy chaos. I know exactly what's in here. I know it's restocks of all my fave stuff, but yeah, we're not going to tackle that one today. And then over in this section, a lot of these sections could just do with a bit of a tidy, to be honest, and a bit of a dust. We have sunglasses. I know how many sunglasses does one person need. I wish I could stand here and be like, oh, they're all designer. This is that and this is that. They're all cheap as chips. The majority of these are all from like ASOS or brands like that, Zara. But as you can see, I am a massive fan of sunglasses. So 
that's why they're all lined up in here and then these are my um, blue lens glasses so for when I'm using my phone a lot or on the laptop I'll pop on a pair of these to stop me from getting headaches the drawer underneath is jewellery this definitely needs a bit of a tidy up but not sure if that's really a job for today as you can see lots of gold chunky jewellery lying around in there and then these bottom three drawers are just for other bits of clothes so I usually keep like my tops and bodysuits in this one needs a bit of a tidy up this one I usually keep my jeans trousers and that sort of thing the bottom one is a little bit of like a miscellaneous one there's some chunky knitwear in there some hoodies a couple of pairs of joggers I do also use a couple um a couple more drawers that are in the bedroom but I'm not going to go into them because those don't really get changed around the stuff that's in there is mainly my gym stuff which I don't really change out loungewear which I don't really change out and pajamas so that's just stuff that doesn't really change hence why it's in the other room a, a cupboard I don't think I've ever shown on the internet before is my shoe cupboard now this is embarrassing I have you'll clearly see I've not tidied it up I've been real this this cupboard that you're gonna see right here becomes absolute chaos and I'm gonna show it you I hope you're ready please don't judge me but you know just gonna open and show you you can't even see what's in there it's a joke I've got my big dog walking coat up there and then we've just got boots and shoes and shoes and believe me there's a lot of shoes in here you just can't see them because they're all stacked into, on top of each other which is a very clear sign that it's time for a clear out and time to put some of these boots away because what I've been doing is I have been adding like some of my spring shoes in there and as you can see there's just no room there's literally no room so that needs sorting today right so starting off with the coats and jackets i'm not going to be precious about like putting these in the vacuum packs today i'm also going to make a pile and put it on my landing and vacuum pack up everything later my main priority right now is just to make space in this dressing room so i'm gonna kind of take out some of my more heavier coats so things like this I love this, my big grey mango wool blend coat, but I just don't need it for the next sort of like six months now. So this is going to go. I am going to keep the hangers though, because that's one thing I am short of, hangers. Who remembers this coat from Zara? That is going to go. See you later. I've got these like more lighter weight trench coats, which I think I'm going to keep for now do i need them i'm going to keep them in here for now just because they are lighter and i can always pack them away at a later day i'd rather not pack too much away and still have the clothes i actually need um leather jackets these are going to stay down because i do get a lot of wear out of them this big mango aviator coat another one which i absolutely love she's gonna go in the loft see you later i feel like i'm gonna keep my camel coats down just because they're quite a staple for spring i feel like i will still get some wear out of these ones this is a very very thick wool coat from fourth and reckless so lovely in the winter but not so much for spring so yeah i'm gonna do the rest of these and then we'll move on to the next section you can count on me for that so put your hand in mine i will be there every day when you're sick of the climb i will make sure So as you can see I've literally cleared out half of this space and now I've got room I might put a few of like my blazers here and I've just got room now which is great so I've kept things like my denim jacket a couple of like camel coats and um, my trench coat I decided to put one of the other like lightweight trench coats away I was just like you know what I don't need to so I've put it in the charity pile because I, I just don't need two of those my like faux leather jackets I've also kept a couple of like gilets um down as well uh, and yeah as I said my faux leathers and just a little lightweight bomber jacket so I'd say these are like all my main essential jackets. I've had a couple of like new ones that I'm going to file away in there now. But yeah, that section just looks a lot better going into spring. Next, I'm going to do these shelves. And most of these shelves can pretty much be put into storage now. So I know up here, it's mainly just scarves. So I've got this, oh, this gorgeous, who remembers this gorgeous green scarf from Mango? One of my faves, so nice. My lovely checked zara scarf that can go 
I think this was from Boohoo. And then, oh, there's more. And then we've got grey scarf. And then a black one. So that's that shelf empty, ready for some nice, pretty newness to go in there. On this shelf, I feel like I'm going to keep this. Um, I am going to keep some of my knitwear down um, in this room. Just because, obviously, we're in the UK. The weather is not the most reliable. And as much as I'd like to think we're going to have a really hot spring summer from March to September... It's just not going to happen. So I am going to keep a couple of like knits um, down here. So this camel coloured one, I feel like is quite springtime. So this one's going to stay. I'm just going to put it down here though. For the moment, this Christmas jumper definitely needs to go in the loft. I'm also going to keep my black essentials hoodie down. Just for those days when it's a bit cold, I want to wear a nice hoodie, maybe to go for a roast dinner. That's going to stay. Oh, did anyone watch Vlogmas and remember when I bought this from H&M? love that i'll see you again in september this shelf i'm not really going to touch to be honest i'm not going to put my balenciaga bag in the loft and then at the back it's just my caps and i wear my caps all year round so that can pretty much stay the same and then if we move down here as you can see we've got my beanie hat collection i do love a beanie hat can you tell how many beanies is too much but realistically i'm not going to wear beanie hats now so I think all of these can go in the loft until about September time. What else is in here? Oh, my gloves. My lovely leather gloves from Zara. They can go. And then down here is, again, I think this is just going to stay the same. These are two new, like, relatively new pairs of heels from Zara. So I'm going to keep those here. My bag, I'm obviously going to keep there. And then there's just a pair of trainers behind. So I think as far as these shelves go... I am just going to leave these like this so I can get ready to put some of my like, more spring summer bits on these shelves. However, before I carry on, I am just going to give them a quick clean. As you can see, empty shelves ready to put some pretty new bits on. So next up, I'm going to just do this middle section. This is not going to take me long. Basically, pretty much everything other than that lime green blazer. How gorgeous is that, by the way? Everything on there, I always put in this section when I need to do something with it. So whether it's like featuring in a video or I need to take a picture of the outfit, um, I'll pop it here just so it's easy to access. But I've done all of these bits here apart from that. So all of these can be filed away either in the loft or into like the main <laughs> the main section of the dressing room i'm talking like i've got a huge massive dressing room here but yeah that's just what that section is so all of this is going to go and that is going to stay and then the very last section which i think is just one of the easiest to be honest i don't think there'll be actually looking at it i think there will be quite a few things that go hmm this is mainly a lot of got a few blazers, shackets, jumpers. So as I said, some of this stuff will be staying because it's just not hot enough in the UK to warrant putting all of my cosy jumpers away. So let's just see how we get on here. I'm I'm just gonna have a have a rifle through and we'll just see. Let's start from this side. Oh great start, found half a hanger. I can go in the bin. So first off my leather blazer, that actually needs a wash, I'm going to take this off because it needs to go in the wash because I've just noticed, I think I've spilt something, I've put it back in there, why would I do that? <laughs> Let's put that to be washed, um, bla black blazer, actually this can go now, this, is, this isn't mine, this is actually um, Andy's, my boyfriend's. Um, I really needed a black oversized blazer the ones and I didn't have a really good one so I borrowed his but I've now got one so he can have this back let's just go and give him that back so what have we got here my H&M leather blazer that can stay black blazer that can stay my black shacket I think my faux leather shacket can stay at least for another couple of months I think I'll still get some wear out of that this is a relatively new jumper from Zara which again I think I can actually get some wear out of in the spring so I'm going to keep this down here this green shacket again I feel like this green shacket 
Could I make that springtime? I feel like that's springtime just because of the colour. I'm not doing very well, am I, about putting things away. This blue jump, I feel like I'm not going. Although this is a bright colour, will I actually wear this for spring? Oh, this is what I mean, it's too cutthroat. I don't know if I can actually get rid of this right now. How sad is my life? I think I might actually have to keep this down here. I don't need so many gilets, that can go in the loft. Bright orange hoodie, grey hoodie, my suit, green. I feel like I don't need all of it. I literally wore this the other day. I feel like I'm not going to wear it again now, this side this side of spring. I know it's a lovely, it's a lovely green colour though, isn't it? Oh no. It's staying. <laughs> On, I just said I think this section will be easy and it's not. I'm struggling to know what to keep nude shacket again this is very spring that's staying my blazer that's got to stay i actually think most of this stuff is going to end up staying i feel like this can go i'm not going to wear this huge big fluffy or will i this is really bad isn't it no no i think in the spring i'm going to be wearing more like sweaters rather than fleecy knits i'm gonna i'm being strict now that's going i love this jumper dress but I just don't think I'll wear it now in spring. Yeah, no, I don't think I'll wear this now. I'm more into my blazer dresses now this time of year. Oh, I've just found this one. Who remembers this from Vlogmas? That can go. Okay, what I've done here is I've actually taken out um, the blazers and I've popped them in with like the jackets and coats over there. So as you can see, we've got the jackets here. I've colour coordinated them as well. So they start from black. Um, and then they go through to the blazers just at the front here so I think this is quite a good system that I've got so far as you can see I've cleared up a fair bit of space in this section here again I've colour coordinated started from black making my way up to the lighter colours and then I've just popped some of like the multicoloured bits um, over here so yeah this is how we're looking so far now for the part I've been dreading the most the shoe cupboard I think the best thing to do for me here is just to get them all out and then decide if I just get them all out on the floor and then decide what is going to stay and what's going to go. Oh God. usually looks like when it's not filled with shoes it's just like this random carpeted cupboard it's got a couple of our bathroom tiles in there as well but it's just a great place to shove loads of shoes in there um i also just keep we keep our really big like puffer coats for like walking the dogs um just in there and then i've just got some bags there that i usually use for shooting when i want to take all my outfits with me um so yeah that is what the space is supposed to look like now, when I turn this camera around and show you how many shoes I fit in there, you'll see what I mean about that cupboard being like Aladdin's cave. See what I mean? I'm actually embarrassed. Look at all the winter boots that were shoved in there. That's not even funny. And then there was these little heels there kicking about inside there as well. But that is just ridiculous. I am going to get rid of a lot of these. I think um, some of them can stay and go in the loft, but some of these, I, I know full well I haven't wore some of these this like last winter. But the thing is with me and boots, I get so worried to throw away shoes because I feel like they're such a staple in a lot of out outfits. But even just looking at some of these, some of these are so similar. So yeah, time for a bit of a clear out with the shoes. <laughs> just quickly show you what boots i've decided to keep they all look very similar i realize that however i'm gonna show you the ones i've decided to keep in the cupboard so first off we have my tall like flat black almost like wellington boots i know these are very autumn wintery but i've decided to keep them in the wardrobe just for another month or two and um, just while we've got the cold weather because i really like wearing these with like shorts and with blazers I just think they look really, really nice. So I've just kept the one pair of those down. Next up, we have these 
like faux croc print um like cream heeled boots love these in spring summer again to wear with dresses really good to wear if you're going out for drinks and that sort of thing and then i've also got my heeled black faux leather boots just an absolute classic we all need a pair of knee-high black boots and yes these are very very similar but i can't resist i've not had a chance to wear these out the house yet they're literally very similar but they've just got like this silver buckle detail they're a bit of a dupe for like the givenchy boots so i've kept these down as well so i've got a couple of black heeled pairs and then i've got this pair here which is like my beige heeled pairs again for like springtime these are quite a good shoe to have and to be honest as the weather does get warmer i will end up filing most of these boots away into the loft i just don't want to put them all away just yet because i feel like as i said the weather just doesn't justify it so that's why i'm keeping a lot of the boots down here for now but come like june time most of these will be in the loft and then this white pair of heeled boots oh my god these are just so lovely with a blazer dress oh love them and then as i said most of these will end up in the loft eventually but for now i thought it's best to keep some short boots downstairs um actually no i wasn't going to keep these i've changed my mind these aren't staying these are going and um, i've decided to keep this pair down though just because of the red bottoms on them just that pop of color i feel like it could look really nice with like a spring outfit so these are going to stay for now these are like my little um kind of like western style boots and i love them so these are going to stay these are my fendi ankle boots i really like wearing these especially if i'm like i've got meetings or i've just got a day where I've, i need to do stuff and i need to look like quite formal but still be comfortable they're just a really great pair of boots and then these are just my classic black sock boots look at them they look a bit battered now but they're just such a good shoe just to have on you at all times you know for like a night out if you want to be comfortable and you don't want to wear a heel they're great for that and then in terms of these heels these are all just staying down here i'll definitely be wearing these throughout spring summer so they're not going anywhere can we just take a minute to appreciate how much better this space is looking so i've opted for like keeping my boots on the bottom shelf and then here i'm going to put all my heels I'll be putting some of my brighter pair of heels and the heels that look quite pretty um, sort of just on some of the shelves here as well. And this lot, some of it's going to charity and some of it is going in the loft. Okay guys, this has taken so much longer than I thought it was going to take. The sun is about to set, it's nearly six o'clock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this up in the morning. Um, I've emptied everything that needed to basically get out of this dressing room so all that's left to do now is to add in some of my spring summer pieces from last year that i kept um in the loft so i think i'm going to do that with you in the morning because i don't want the rest like the rest of this video to be really badly lit so yeah i'll catch up with you in the morning good morning guys it's the next day as i said yesterday um i didn't want to carry on filming because the light was just rapidly going and i didn't want to conclude this video um like in the dark when it's supposed to be like fun springtime with all the bright colors so i'm continuing on this morning i have actually been into the loft so well that's a complete lie i've not been into the loft because it's quite frankly terrifying i summoned andy into the loft and just picked out a few of like well not a few this is all of it like some of my spring wardrobe that I packed away last year. I can see a lot of like shoes, sandals. It's a good job I cleared out the shoe cupboard yesterday. So I've got this to go through. I can also see some fun, bright colours. So yeah, we've got a lot to um, a lot to go through. I'm going to get some of the stuff out now. And yeah, let's just see what's in here. I'm really sorry if this is slightly cutting my head off. But yeah, I didn't know where else to put you. Do you know what I love about doing this? There's stuff in here that I remember being so excited to wear last year. And it's just so nice getting it back out again. And just being just as excited to wear it. Like, look at these. I remember buying these last year. My Zara green. My little green Zara sandals. I absolutely loved these last year. I got so much wear out of them. And I'm really excited just to wear them again. It sounds so silly, but I'm so excited. I love getting the spring summer things out. What else have we got in here? Oh dear, I think, 
think this was supposed to be a fedora. It's got a bit squished. Oh no. I mean, we can, uh, <laughs> I think we could try and uh, straighten that one out. Oh my God, I loved these sandals as well. How nice are these? These are from Love Raid. These like ropey sandals, love them. Oh my God, I, I took this to Greece with me. Bright yellow bucket hat. Oh, how fun. Definitely gonna wear that again. I feel like these are the sandals that everybody owns from Zara. You know, the classic tan sandals. Again, I'm gonna get so much wear out of them. Excited to wear them again. Like Zara. There's definitely a trend here. There's a lot of Zara clothes in here. Mazara chunky white flip flops, love them. I'm not gonna need to buy any shoes this year. I'll say that now, let's just be on standby. Let's, can someone please cut me saying that I'm not gonna buy, need to buy any shoes this year and then just send it back to me when I do a haul and I've bought some shoes. What are these my H&M? Oh, my H&M rope sandals. These are so, so lovely. What bag shall I do next? I think I'm gonna open the clothes bag because this looks exciting to me. This is tight. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Oh my God. Who remembers when I went to Greece last year? Who, did anyone here watch the Greece vlog from last year? Does anyone remember this amazing green Zara jumpsuit. Does anyone else remember that? Oh, this needs another holiday, in my opinion. I don't think it's gonna happen this year, being perfectly honest, but at the very bare minimum, it needs a barbecue. Do you know what I mean? It needs a barbecue and a glass of Prosecco, this outfit does. Definitely going straight in the wardrobe. So excited to wear that again. Also, oh, this gorgeous red slip dress. Um, I think what I'm gonna do as well, because some of this stuff, with it being vacuum packed, it'll be quite creased. So like this satin dress, as you can see, it needs a bit of an iron. Um, I think I might give some of these bits like a bit of a quick steam before I put them away. Oh my God, cycling shorts. We've got some neon, like green, greeny yellow ones. Oh wow, we've got my, I remember buying these last year, my bright pink Zara jeans. Wow. Right, I'm gonna keep going through this lot. I'm not gonna go through everything with you, but I'm gonna keep going through this lot and um, I'm gonna start like filing it away. Someday we will find that the world has changed, but we stay true to each other. I will always be there for you whenever you need my help. I'm taking my time to be your spring stuff as you can see looking very very bright and colourful behind me I'm really really happy I've also redone all of my shelves I've popped all of like my bright coloured heels on there it just feels very bright and colourful I'm really really happy with it I'll give you a quick look now so just to show you my shelves I've kind of had a little bit of a tidy up of the bags at the top there I've not switched those out because I just love being able to grab a colourful bag all year round to be honest but as you can see, I've replaced, so here before, if you remember, it was the like knitted jumpers. So um, I've kind of like swapped things around a little bit. So I've popped my Fendi bag at the top there and it's dust bag. And then here I've just popped a few pairs of like spring shoes. This shelf hasn't really changed. I've just kept it as my Balenciaga bag because I literally use this every day. So I just have it on the shelf ready to grab got my caps there at the back and then next shelf we've got bright coloured heels orange ones my blue ones these are both from love raid by the way 
We've got my green sandals there from Zara at the back and my nude coloured Zara heels there as well. And then the next level, more bright shoes. I wanted to make sure that every pair of shoes at the front was all like a different colour, just to add to like the bright, cool, colourful look. So we've got more shoes there with some flat sandals at the back. And then I've left this shelf as it was. Anyway, this next section is my new in. So I've popped in there some new bits that I got recently. I've just filed them away in there. Um, you'll see these in a future video very, very soon. But for now, I'm not going to go into where they're from. They're there. Let's just leave it as it is. But I love how colourful this is looking. And then over here, as you can see, um, what I've tried to do is have a little bit of order in terms of the colour. So I've kept my kind of neutrals over to the one side, going from black to white. And then I've kept the more colourful pieces over this side. I've kind of ordered them with my blues, greens, orange and pinks. And kind of left that as is over here. And then if we go into the drawer, as you can see... I've just folded up, it doesn't look very neat because these things do need a little bit of a steam. But I've just folded up loads of my tops and my bodysuits. As you can see, there's a few more colourful ones in here now. And then in here, as we can see, this drawer is looking much more full now. I think I might actually end up filing away a few pairs of these like black um, like faux leather trousers. Maybe like in the next couple of weeks. I'm kind of just keeping them in there just because I think I might still have a couple of like occasions to wear them for. As you can see, it's looking a little bit more bright over here. I've got my pink jeans. We've got some bright cycling shorts. It's all looking very, very fun and colourful in here. I'm absolutely loving it. And then over here at the jacket section, I did kind of just show you this um, earlier in the video. Not much change. I've just taken out a lot of coats. Again, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of these coats will also be filed away soon, just when the weather picks up a little bit more. I've popped some of my more like sort of darker and more neutral um, blazers in here as well and just kept the more colourful ones over in this section. So overall, I'm really, really liking how the dressing room has turned out. I think it looks so colourful, very, very spring, summertime. Let me know what you think. I'm very, very happy with it. So yeah guys, that is my spring switch over dressing room wardrobe video. I don't know what I'm going to call this video. I suppose you'll have already seen the title by now anyway, so it really doesn't matter. But I really hope you enjoyed this video, helping me just switch my wardrobe over from winter to spring. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you like these kind of videos and I can be sure to do it again when it comes to switching it all back for winter. Let's not even think that far ahead though please but yeah anyway guys please do remember to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and as always i'll see you in the next one bye